Hey, this is Ross doing a review for an Enkyo four-person tent, a uh, three to four-person tent, that is. Um, so basically, this is how it comes. It comes in this little carrying bag here, which, I mean, it fits in here pretty nicely. It's uh, maybe about like, uh, I, th I think it says like 14 pounds or something for everything. Um, and this is my first time opening the bag, uh, so let's see how it comes here. Um, so this, I believe this is the black tarp which goes at the bottom. This is the bottom of the inner tent here. Um, not sure how exactly this is tied. Uh, yeah, it looks like just yank this. Um, both sides here. And, uh, so anyway, I'm going to open it up and lay it all out and show you how it looks. Alright, so this is what you get here. This is the inner uh, tent, which I told you that was the black tarp for the bottom. This is the outer shell, which is the, the fly sheet. Um, these are, you get 22 uh, tent stakes. Um, this here is uh, one of the the fixed ropes here to tie down the fly sheet and these are the tent poles here which you get two sets that are longer and as you can see that's the the shorter one right here um, so that that does make a difference these are the two that will um, put up the, the main tent and this goes on to the top uh, fly sheet all right, so what you want to do is you want to lay this thing out um, the best you can. I'm doing it in my basement right now because it's uh, raining outside. And, uh, you know, that way you can see better too with the, the better lighting down here. So um, that's, that's the first step right there. Next step is to lay the two longer tent poles down um, so they, uh, they form an X uh, right in the middle. And now what you do is, is, I forgot to mention, you want to put the white part on top and the black on the bottom. And then you want to form an X in the center. And as you see the little black clips that go, you see them go down, that's where the poles are going to line up with also. So you want to cross it in the middle. And then, uh, and then what you do is, is you put the end inside this little grommet thing right here um, and that's what uh, you stand um, the tent up like that when you when you push them in the hole you do one at a time obviously unless you got two people which would be a lot easier um, and then the tent stands up and I will show you that in a minute alright so that's how it looks um, and I misquoted these things these are supposed to be uh, eyelets not uh, whatever I said before but anyway um, and that's how you put the poles in and you just tie the center piece at the cross section like that that's a little tie in there and uh, that's how it looks when it's standing um, and now what you do is is you want to connect these little clips from the tent onto the tent poles like that and you just go ahead and connect all of them and that's basically the next step all right so I clipped all the tent clips onto the tent poles and you see this thing is pretty giant um, and now I do want to point out too that uh, the instructions there's no instructions in the bag so I actually went to the the seller's site and printed this out of how to set up the the tent um, so I gotta say, you know, instructions are pretty key, um, to find the easiest way to set this thing up. Um, and I was a little disappointed in that. So what I did was I printed it out for myself and I'm going to keep it in the bag. Uh, that way I have it for the next time I set up this tent. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and open the thing up before I install the rest of this. And so this is the inside here. Um, and I would say it's about eight feet long, eight feet wide, I would say, by maybe six foot, um, you know, in length. Uh, so 
I would say it would probably sleep about three people comfortably. Um, four maybe, you know, if two of the people were a little smaller. Um, but I would say maybe uh, two adults and two kids would work. Um, so this is my first time in the tent, so don't mind me, I'm just kind of looking around. Over here is, uh, they got two little pockets here. Um, maybe put a cell phone in there or keys or flashlights or whatever. And I did notice up at the top, uh, there's a little clip, um, so you can hang a flashlight or, you know, like an LED lantern or something. And on the other side, it's got some pockets as well. Um, also... Um, you can unzip this here. Well, let me go ahead and zip the door closed. I can do it one-handed. Um, but anyway, it's, um, it's got a little screen on the one side, and then it opens up, and it's got the rainproof, uh, material on the inside. So, and then also, it's got the little clips here, so you can roll the door and you know tie this thing i think it goes from one side to to the other just like that you can keep the doors open um just like that and one hand well almost <laughs> um but anyway i now want to show you what it looks with the fly uh cover over the top all right, so I just threw the, the cover over the top. And one thing to note too is the green side goes to the front and there's a little vent, uh, there's a little triangular vent I'll show you in a minute. This is the little vent that goes, this is the back here, which you can see it opens up and it's a vent. This is basically a, a, the rain cover. I mean, so you don't have to have this on all the time, um, but if you think it's gonna rain for the day or um, well, let me just show you when it's fully done. All right, so here's the little porch area, as I call it. Um, as you can see, you use the, the uh, orange uh, tie-down ropes to tie it to a stake in the ground, which that is one, uh, one thing, that obviously, that I'm missing here. I can't put any stakes in the basement floor. Um, but anyway, uh, you get the idea. It's got like a little mud room in here. Um, we could put a cooler and, you know, shoes, an animal if you wanted to, <laughs> like a dog. Um, and then you have access to your tent from in here. Um, so as you can see, uh, it's a pretty big tent, especially I didn't realize it was going to be this big in my basement. And uh, so anyway... Uh, this is what it looks like from the side. You see the green part is your uh, the porch area. And these, this also will be, um, put another orange rope in here to kind of hold this out a little bit. Um, and again, here's your vent, um, which it's got this little, uh, this little stand thing here to kind of keep it open. Doesn't give you too much air, but just enough. Um, and that's what it looks like from the other side. And uh, anyway, um, I like this tent. This is a nice tent for the price. Um, I, I'm going to have to go ahead and give it a five-star review. Um, even though I did receive it for my honest and unbiased review, I received it at a discounted rate. But in no way did that uh, reflect on my my opinion, um, either positive or negative. Um, but that's uh, my review. Thanks for watching.